In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. First, I want to remember a couple of program notes. We have a funeral that's coming in right after 9 o'clock. So this morning, I'll give the blessing of perpetual help at the end of Mass, but I won't lead the prayers. You could do them in private. And there won't be confessions this morning. Monsignor Norb is gone also, so we're kind of crunched up. But have a wonderful Mass with our kindergartners here, thinking about Jesus as the bread of life. Jesus is our bread. Let's ask him to forgive our sins. Lord Jesus, you reconcile us to each other and to your Father. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds we make of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. You pray for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God, you open wide the gates of the heavenly kingdom for those reborn of water and the Holy Spirit. Pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you have given us, that having been purged of sin by baptism, we may lack nothing that in your kindness you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and the scribes, you stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and in ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, whose betrayer and murderers you have now become. You received the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, full of with the Holy Spirit, looked up intensely to heavens and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears and rushed upon him together. They throw, threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephens, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consenting to his execution. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, I will go. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I would rejoice and be glad of your mercy. 
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servants. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plotting of men. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. The Lord be with you. Today we have a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The crowd said to Jesus, what sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, St. Stephen certainly felt Jesus was the bread of his life because he kept preaching about Jesus even as the opposition to him grew, even as he was being stoned and he said words like Jesus said, he said, Lord, receive my spirit, like Jesus did on the cross. And he said, do not hold this sin against them, like Jesus did from the cross. So he was filled with God, the Holy Spirit, and he knew that he would eat the bread of Jesus in heaven. So Jesus said in the gospel today, I am the bread of life. We love bread. We all do. We live partly on bread. So I asked our little ones, kindergarten today, on the way in, who likes bread? One person actually said no, but that's okay. What, what kind of bread do you eat? What bread do you like? What? What? Sandwich bread. What else? What kind of bread? Cornbread. How about that? What, what kind of bread do you like? Sourdough bread. He likes sourdough bread. So do I. For breakfast, I had this little round thing made of bread, and you slice it in half. What was that? Can you think of what that was? What? A round thing of bread that you slice in half? What was that? It's my bagel, all right? There's all kinds of bread. And what does bread taste like? Why do you like bread? Why do you like bread? It tastes good. Any kind of bread tastes good. All right, did you ever have it with milk? Then you feel really full. Your tummy will get very full if you have bread and milk. What does bread taste like to you? What were you going to say? Like dough, but better than dough. Okay. Bread keeps us alive. Everything you said about bread is Jesus. All right. Bread tastes good. Bread looks good. Jesus tastes good when we have in the Eucharist, when we put our faith in him. Bread will keep us alive like Jesus. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. I am bread. So everything that we like about bread, bread comes in a lot of forms. The bagels, even pizza the bread on the bottom, isn't it? So the sandwich bread, we said, there's the sourdough bread. Jesus comes in all kinds of ways. In the Eucharist, in our friends, especially in our family, in our community, Jesus is our bread. So whatever we like about bread, you'll probably have some later today, think of Jesus. And remember that whatever we like about bread, is what we like about Jesus. So we're going to stand and pray our petitions.
Lord, we pray for the Pope and bishops all around the world, that they and their communities, God will continue to bless them and sanctify them for the service of the word, we pray to the Lord. We pray for our community here at St. Margaret Mary Alacoque, for all the parishes around us, that we will continue to be centers of sharing Jesus, who is the bread of life. We pray to the Lord. For those who might be hungry today, who need some bread or other things to eat, that people will find them and that they will find the people who can give them help. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have died, that God's light will shine upon them. Today we have a special intention of Greg Larm, and we also pray for Patrick Klein, whose funeral will be this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Father, you gave us Jesus. He is our bread of life, just like you fed them in the desert with manna. So you feed us with the bread of life at the Eucharist and in many ways. May we open our hearts and ourselves to the bread of life that is Jesus and always live on him. We pray this through Christ our Lord. The bread now we bless. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have given us this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given us cause for such great gladness, Grant also that these gifts we bring may bear fruit and perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy. The 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Mitchell, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity. In accordance with your will, we live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Look with, <clears throat> with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Again, we have a quick turnaround this morning. It's the son of Barb Klein, who died suddenly Friday, Patrick Klein. Family's coming in in a little while, and I have to meet with them already. So I'm going to give that blessing for the end of the perpetual help. Devotions right now, it's put under the sick, but it used to be the ending of all the devotions. And uh, we'll wait for confessions till Saturday. We have two sessions Saturday. In the meantime, anyone who's in strong need, you could call us or do the act of contrition, and please... Go to communion in the meantime until you get to your confession. The Lord be with you. May the Lord Jesus Christ be with you that he may defend you, within you that he may sustain you, before you that he may lead you, behind you that he may protect you, above you that he may bless you, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. St. Michael. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Say our rosary today for the end of abortion, uh, for uh, Pat Klein, for uh, our church, and uh, poor souls in purgatory and your own personal intentions. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
for an increase of the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. And Jesus, protect and save the unborn. The five sorrowful mysteries and the first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane. He advanced a little, fell prostrate in prayer. My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. And Jesus, protect and save the unborn. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging of the pillar. The people said, let his blood be upon us and upon our children. At that, he released Barabbas to them. Jesus, however, he first had scourged. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy, and Jesus protect and save the unborn. The third glory, uh, wait a minute. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. They stripped off his clothes and wrapped him in a scarlet cloak. Weaving a crown out of thorns, they fixed it on his head and began to mock him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy, and Jesus, protect and save the unborn. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Jesus was led away and carrying the cross by himself, went out to what is called the place of the skull. There they crucified him. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. All glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy, and Jesus protect and save the unborn. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. The curtain in the sanctuary was torn in two. Jesus uttered a loud cry and said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. After this he expired. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. And Jesus, protect and save the unborn. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, Virgin of virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother, the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, all evil spirits who go about the world, seeking the ruin of souls, amen. And may the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace, amen. A prayer for a priest. Dear Lord, we pray that the Blessed Mother wrap her mantle around your priest, and through her intercession, strengthen them for their ministry. We pray that Mary will guide your priest to follow her own words. Do whatever he tells you. May your priest have the heart of St. Joseph, Mary's most chaste spouse. May the Blessed Mother's own pierced heart inspire them to embrace all who suffer at the foot of the cross. May your priest be holy, filled with the fire of your love, seeking nothing but your greater glory and the salvation of souls, amen. St. John Vianney, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, Holy Spirit, amen.
Good morning, everyone. We're here for Patrick and his family. I'll introduce myself more as we go, but we're going to do several songs on our own. A cappella, that means we just do it by our voices. Uh, didn't work out the background music at this point, but they're songs that all of us should know, and families ask that we sing together on these. So if you take that uh, maroon-colored missalette in front of you in the pew, the uh, first song, we all know Amazing Grace, I'll try to start us off on a good note. That's number 450. As you go to the back of the book, you see a lot of hymns listed. And if you find number 450, that'll be amazing grace. Okay. Here we go. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost and now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Was grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fear relieve how precious did that grace appear we were my first belief. Before we actually begin the mass segment this morning, we're going to hear from Jillian. Of course, we're all pulling for her and praying for her. She wants to do some reflections on her dad. So please be seated. Hi, I'm Jill, Patrick's daughter. First, I wanted to thank everyone for being here today. Me and my family appreciate it a lot. We all know Patrick as a loving son, brother, uncle, and godfather, but I knew him as my dad. I am forever grateful for the love my father bestowed upon me, and the lessons he taught me will remain with me throughout my life. When I was younger, he would take me to the park. And I would run my ninja course, as he would call it. He would always make me feel as if I were on top of a mountain by the time I finished the course. My father was always my biggest supporter and made sure I was always spoiled. I am so lucky to be able to call Patrick my dad. My father was always one to make a joke. His favorite one was making this fly noise behind your ear or he made the made you look jokes which always got everyone. Patrick had a strong passion for boy scouting, camping, and sailing from his dad. My father, Patrick, was amazing caregiver to his mother. He would eat a bowl of ice cream with her and rub her back every night. He was so proud to be able to take care of her as her caregiver. He loved her so dearly. I also wanted to add some words from his big brother, John John. Little brother, you will be missed by me. I will miss your laughter and jokes. I miss our side jobs we did together every time I came into town. I will miss how much you did for our mother. I will miss you being my partner in horseshoes just because no one could beat us. I will just miss you, little brother, always in my heart. Love, John John. I love you, Dad. This isn't a goodbye, but a see you later. I will forever love and miss you.
Thank you, Jillian. I think we all needed that from you. That was very brave, and it shows how your life is continuing on in memory of your dad. We all want to be there for you, and you kind of have helped us by inviting us into your life and your thoughts and your feelings. I appreciate that. Let's stand and begin our prayers of the Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. At a lot of Masses on Sunday at other times, we call to mind our sins. We don't really do that for this Memorial Mass. But let's call to mind anything that we might like Patrick to forgive us for. Something that maybe we could have done a little better, a little kinder, uh, not knowing that we wouldn't have the chance for very much longer. So call to mind your own things. You wish you had done a little bit better toward him. And we pray for Patrick now in this, his memorial mass. Heavenly Father, you call the faithful ones into your kingdom. We pray that through this passage of death, Dennis, who was faithful to you as a servant, would come to the light of your kingdom. May you give him any forgiveness he requires, and bring him into the light of the saints and all those in his family who have gone before him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And as we're seated now, we have a good first reading on God being with us in anything. First reading. Let's be seated. The Lord is kind and merciful. Oh, that's the second, uh, Laurie. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll go to the first. Yeah. Yep, I see yeah. it now. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? He did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. Will he not always give us everything else along with him? He will bring a charge against God's chosen ones. It is God who acquits us, who will condemn it is Christ Jesus who died, rather was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. What will separate us from the love of Christ will anguish our distress, our persecution, our famine, our nakedness, our peril, our sword. No, in all these things, we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, no principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God and Jesus Christ our Lord, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Last time. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abiding in kindness. Not according to our sin does he deal with us, nor does he requit us in according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful. Next page. Right? Next page. Oh. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. As Father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. The Lord is kind and merciful. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. 
Man's days are like those of grass, like a flower of the field in blooms. The wind sweeps over him, and he is gone, and his place knows him no more. The Lord is kind and merciful. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord, but the kindness of our Lord is from eternity to eternity. Toward those who fear him and his justice towards children's children, among those who we keep, his covenant, and remember to fulfill his perspects. The Lord is kind and merciful. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Alleluia. Gracious is the Lord and just. Yes, our God is merciful. I will walk in the presence of the Lord, the land of the living. Alleluia. The Lord keeps the little ones. Okay, thank you, Father. I'm sorry. Please stand now. We have the direct words of Jesus in the gospel. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Today we have a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, My Father will love you, and we will come to you and make our dwelling with you. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you I am going away and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father. For the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Let's just say right out that in one sense, we wish we didn't have to be here this morning. We're happy to be here for Patrick. But this isn't how we could have imagined things would have happened a week ago that we would be here this morning. So again, we're very honored and happy to be here for him, but still a good amount of shock this morning. As I've seen that among a great family, Patrick was the youngest, and so sort of babied, maybe kind of bossed around a lot too. I say that because I was the baby for nine, for nine years in our family. And I was cared for and I was bossed around a lot and I got all of that. But there is a great feeling to having that relationship with everybody older than you. So I know that others of you spoiled him. Patrick, as I look at his life, the way it's been shared with me, has been a good servant. He grew up with his family, went to local high school here, went right into the trades to earn a living, but also I can imagine just seeing him, the pictures and talking with you all, how nice it would have been for Patrick to be a workman that would show up at your home or at your business. He would be a nice person to have around. And he worked a long time for that company, Fabcon, was very relied upon in that. Then a couple of things began to happen between his health or the needs of his family. And so he went to live with his mother, to whom, as you all know and testify, he's been so faithful. And we're very sorry for you and the loss, but glad that you had a faithful son 
someone who was there, really devoted his life at that point. All different parts of him, I saw the pictures, a very fun-loving person out in nature. He loved animals. Uh, I think I read here that his cat wouldn't, the, from his dad, his cat would not leave him alone. His dad's cat would not leave him alone. So I went ahead and opened up toward animals and nature and the work that he could do. But in these times, to mostly be with his mother in that home. Also, though, with all the nieces and nephews, that's something I share with him as well. All the 18 nieces and nephews I have and all of their kids. And getting to know them and being called uncle was very special for Patrick. And he paid attention to them and he enjoyed them. And he made sure to be around in the family things with them. So in our shock, we have two things in the scriptures. One is, as St. Paul said, if God is for us, what can be against us? Our rock-solid faith. In everyday life, we sort of are glad, maybe take it for granted that God is with us. Then comes something like this, and we begin to wonder, is God still with us? And St. Paul said, how could God possibly not be with you? He loves you as much as anyone, anything he's ever created. Neither death nor life, neither powers, angels, principalities, all of those things he mentions, none of that can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. So whatever kind of faith you, as a brother, an in-law, a friend of the family, relative, we draw upon our faith right now in a time that's really deeper and stronger than most other times because we know God is with us, even in this, even though we don't understand it and don't want it. The gospel reading that was chosen is about how God communicates with us. Jesus told the disciples a lot on earth. Well, we weren't alive then. But he said, I will send you the Spirit and he'll keep reminding you the Holy Spirit will remind us of everything Jesus says. Therefore, do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. Now, humanly speaking, our hearts are troubled right now. There's pain, and there's kind of a confusion and a shock. That's human. But as you go a little bit deeper, Jesus says, you heard me tell you, even I am going away. Jesus left. Imagine walking with Jesus and hearing his teaching back in that day. And then he was about to leave. He said, I will leave you, but I'll send you the Holy Spirit, and he will walk with you. So again, right now, Jesus is walking with you. Jesus knew pain, separation, betrayal. We say so often, God gave his only son. That's literal. God sent his only son from heaven to be on our earth. And we know what happened here. The opposition, the cruelty, the violence. And yet Jesus from the cross said, Father, I trust you. I give myself to you. So on this day, I was asking Jillian, really hard right now, but can we be grateful? Can we say thank you, God? This isn't the life we would have wanted for Patrick. We didn't want things to end so suddenly last week. Can we be grateful for the years that he did have, for the times that he was part of his family and working and serving his mother? Deeper than our pain, which is real, our sadness, maybe some anger at times, can be our trust in God. For as St. Paul said, if God is with us, nothing can truly be against us. Jesus asked us this morning, do not ultimately, in a deep sense, let your heart be troubled or afraid. Let's stand and we'll pray our petitions. <clears throat> We pray for the whole church. By virtue of that life, we are here today, members of the church, able to praise God, to offer the Eucharist and to place our trust in the Lord in a difficult time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for Patrick's family, for his mother, Barb, for all the brothers and sisters and their spouses, the nieces and nephews who will miss him, that you will continue to find God walking with you, for nothing can take God away from you. We pray this, ask, first we pray this, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world with a great deal of confusion, with all the attempts to prolong life in a good sense. We give God thanks for all the doctors and nurses who always waited on Patrick. May they be blessed for their reward in keeping life. We pray to the Lord. Father, we offer you the whole world in its joys right now, in its pains and sufferings and sorrow. Help us to lift the world up to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated now. The prayers of Mass will be prepared. The bread is offered first. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Now the wine, it will become the blood of Jesus. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. We offer this bread and wine as it becomes the body and blood of Jesus and pray. Stand now and pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Please stand. Lord, as we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings for the salvation of your servant Patrick, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge and a welcoming friend who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for in him the hope of blessed resurrection for all has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortal life to come. And so indeed, for your faithful, O Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for us in heaven. And so with angels and dark angels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <clears throat> Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated now. We pray the prayer which Jesus turns this bread and wine into his body and blood. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed for us and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember your servant, Patrick, whom you have called now from this world to your kingdom, Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like him at his baptism may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand now as we pray the great prayer of confidence in God, even at this time. Jesus taught us to pray. Patrick said this prayer many, many times in his life. So with confidence in God, we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming again of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. It's a good time to comfort each other. Let's offer each other a sign of peace.
body of Jesus is now broken so that it can be shared among us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. For those who receive communion will do so, we're going to sing one of the songs that has been selected. Meanwhile, we offer communion for those who normally receive in the Catholic Church, and you would know how to. For those who don't normally receive in the Catholic Church, some just come up for a blessing with their arms crossed, or just remain in your pew to pray for the family. Behold now Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. Jesus, I'm doing my bread.
song the family wanted to sing today, which is a great selection. It's on number 535 in our hymns, the prayer of St. Francis. 535. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord. And where there's doubt, true faith in you. Make me a channel of your peace. There's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. And where there's sadness, ever joy. O oh, Master, grant that I may never see so much to be consoled as to console. Oh, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, in giving of ourselves that we receive. And in dying that we're born to eternal life. Let us stand and pray as we end the Mass. Lord God, your Son left us in the sacrament of his body and blood, food for the journey. Mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our brother Patrick may come now to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. I know the family is very appreciative for all of you who have come, and uh, Monsignor Norb sends his blessings, his own sister, is going through an operation down in the middle of Missouri, so he's down there to see her. But uh, we talked about Barb before he left, and I think this community is going to continue, as you'll see, to rally around Barb these days. Our final hymn after the blessing is How Great Thou Art. And our index tells us Number 432, among the hymns, number 432. Okay. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go now in the peace of Christ to praise the Lord, to spread his gospel. Thanks be to God. Okay, and our hymn. O oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars. I see the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. 
and the third verse. And when I think that God his son not sparing, sent him to die. 